What is going on you guys? Back again. Today's video is going to be a temperature test and to show you guys uh, why I did what I did with my radiators and why I continued to do push-pull and uh, actually why I added another radiator and to show you the benefits of um, having more radiator surface and having push-pull. So right now, um, what I'm doing right now is uh, I have Valley Benchmark running in the background. Um, I have my two 1080s overclocked, um, 250 plus on the core and 650 on the memory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up all my fans, which right now they're only at about 800 RPMs. And we're going to turn them up to max on all, all the channels. So right now, each one, um, so unfortunately the the 140s max, I think, are 1300 RPMs. The 120s are 14 or 1500 RPMs. So right now, every fan is on max. You could hear it. It's quite loud, which is another reason why I'll show you guys why, show you guys why push-pull and having a fan controller benefits you the most. So as you can hear, this is the sound that you hear from my PC when every fan is at max. Um, it's a little warmer in here because I have the heater going. Right now in North Dakota it's negative 20 Fahrenheit ambient with a wind chill of 50, negative 50 Fahrenheit. So the heater's on so the temperatures are a little hotter than usual but we're going to do a benchmark test on temperatures as it is now. So right now <coughs> I'm not even running the benchmark yet. With the fans fully kicked on, which is weird, I don't know why it registers this, but this is actually the top GPU. So technically GPU 1, GPU 2. <laughs> so I don't know why that is. So this one's on the bottom here. So that one actually gets the the fluid first, so it's actually running a lot cooler because I run it in series, it's not in parallel. So as you can see, the temperature is at 34C. Um, this temperature is the top card, which is running about six degrees hotter than the second card. So we'll just do a temperature test. I'm gonna do the full benchmark, and I will show you guys what the temperatures were actually at after the first run, running all the fans at 100%. So we'll get to it. So like I said, this should keep this should show the maximum temperature it gets to um, before I turn down the fans. So here we go. This is running at Extreme HD. This isn't the updated version. I'll have to download it, but it still does the test just fine. And we'll like I said, we'll just go through the test. And you can see the what it's running at and the temperatures they are staying at. About 41C, 35C right now. And then we'll come back to it uh, when the test is done and we'll check out what MSI Afterburner has for temperatures. Alrighty, the test has completed. I'm going to close out of this and we'll check the temperature readings it had on MSI Afterburner because uh, like I said I haven't updated this I don't know what's the deal I keep getting the exact same score in Valley Benchmark as I do without the overclock it won't go above 198 FPS for some reason so I'm gonna have to re-download and figure that out that problem out so here we go um, Max temperature on GPU one here, as you can tell, 37C, and then the max, the top, even though it says GPU two, the top video card only got to 43C. That's with the fans completely maxed out, 100% um, at um, like I said, 250 on the core and memory clock at 650. The CPU is at 4.5 gigahertz, 
as well. But like I said, we're just going to do the temperatures on the GPUs to kind of keep it consistent. So uh, we will turn down the fans. Okay, so I got them about 700 to 800 RPMs. It's basically silent, either than you can hear the pumps, but I like to keep the pumps around four on the speed. But at 800 RPMs, you could barely hear the fans. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the temperatures rise up to. Like I said, that's what. Uh, so 37 for one GPU, 43 for the other one. So we'll see what the results are after I run it with the fans um, at 800 RPMs. Stream HD. Like I, like I said, I'm going to have to reinstall Valley because the score doesn't change. It's the same consistently um, whether I have the GPUs overclocked or not. Um, so we'll figure it out. But... This is just a temperature test, and uh, we'll get her going. All right, the test is done. Like I said, the score is pretty low for two 1080s and a 5930K. Like I said, this is just a temperature test. So we'll uh, close out of this. And remember, this one is this one is with the fans at 700 to 800 RPMs, depending if it's the 140 or the 120 millimeter. So um, like I said, overclocked 1080s overclock CPU to 4.5 and here are the max temperatures so with the fans with the fans at 7 to 800 rpms dang near silent max temperature for GPU 1 which is technically the second card 40 C and the max of uh, the first the top card here is 46 C so literally, I was able to make the entire rig almost silent, keeping the fans at almost just over or just under half of what the speed is. And I was able to keep the temperatures at full overclock um, below 50 C and it only rose a couple degrees Celsius um, between having all the fans on max or having them... Uh, about 800 to 700 RPMs. So when people are like, oh, why do you need so many fans? Why do you need so many radiators? That is why I did it. Um, so the reasoning for that is because I wanted to do an overkill build, obviously, and want to be able to overclock, say if I want to play a game, but not having the fans blare, uh, blaring while getting great temperature performance, as you can tell here, the temperatures are great for that type of overclock. Um, even if I were to game, it'll probably stay below 50C still anyway. So as a bonus, uh, I told someone I would try this. And I'm not going to try it for too long because it sounds completely stupid. Um, I just want to see what the temperatures get. If it gets too crazy, um, I'm going to turn them back on. Literally turned off every fan, either than that one there. And we're going to see what the temperatures rise to. Um, we'll see.
Just because I told someone I would do it as an experiment to see if having so many radiator space actually helps cooling it with just the D5 pumps flowing uh, fluid through the radiators. So I have a 480 up top, 360, 480 in the back, and a 560 up front. So uh, we'll see what the temperatures get to. I'm not going to run this for that long because I really don't want to kill my rig, but we'll see. So right now, and I'll do it kind of a live live bench, I guess. So uh, right now, um, you can see the temperature, bottom or top card, sitting at 41, 42 C. Bottom, or the bottom card, second card is at 37 C. Um, but I did notice the temperature of the water has actually risen. It's still rising, so it was... Uh, it was at 26 C, one's at 29 C, 28 C. So this left one, um, temperature probe, is right before the GPUs. And then this 29.5 C right side one is right here. So as you can see, the temperature is rising there. But the temperatures for the GPUs is actually staying pretty solid. Um, it's here. Screen or uh, scene six. So six scenes into it, I am at 34C, 38, 39, between 40 and 50C with the zero fans on. So right now I am literally running off of radiator surface and the one fan sitting there. Um, <laughs> and the temperatures aren't too bad. Uh, and that is at the peak right now that is two d5 pumps flowing fluid through at uh speed number four running through all the radiators transferring this the heat to the radiator still as you can tell the temperature of the water is still getting hot but is that with the pumps flowing the way it is um you can see here it's still staying well below 50 c on the gpus Let's see, scene, scene 12. Um, I'm gonna let it finish, and I don't wanna make this video too long, so I'm gonna pause it here. All right, the benchmark is just about to finish. And then we'll check out the temperatures. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the fans. Uh, we'll see the max temperatures here in just a second, but I'm gonna turn on the fans just because it's at almost 33C uh, for the water temperature. I'm gonna turn all the fans back on. But not all the way, so we'll just keep it kind of, kind of mellow. But I wanted some airflow back into the case. I did add another 120 here that blows directly towards the pumps to keep them cool as well. But uh, we'll see the temperatures of the rig. So, with that test done... With zero fans running, other than the one in the back, because that one's connected to the motherboard. Ugh. There you go. Uh, GPU 2 was at max 50C through that entire benchmark. So you can see, I like. I'm, I just want to make it clear, I did stop it. You can see where it was stopped for a while. We ran the whole GPU uh, full valley benchmark. 50C on... GPU 2, which is GPU 1 actually, and GPU 2, which is GPU 1, max of 43C, and that was with no fans running at all. Literally, it was just running off the radiator surface, um, no fans blowing. I'm actually pretty impressed. I've never done that test, um, so it's pretty interesting to see where I was. So yeah, the investment of literally having more radiator space still kept the temperatures pretty low um, through that entire benchmark. Um, like I said, I'm impressed by it. That was the first time I ran that test. I'm going to have to redo Valley benchmark because I'm pretty sure the 1080 should score more than a 4,000, um, especially overclocked. Like I said, uh, this test was done overclocked, so everything 
Um, basically, the 1080s were at its peak with uh, 250 on the core, 100 voltage, 100 power limit, um, or 120 on the power limit, and then memory clock speed was at 650 plus. So it was running about 1 or 2144 megahertz, and then I don't know what the memory would have been. You guys know how to do the math there. Oh, I guess you can see it here. So max for GPU clock, or yeah, GPU clock was 53 or 5643, and then you double it, and then so 139 megahertz or 2139 megahertz on the GPUs. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope that helped you guys uh, realize that there was there was some uh, control to the madness of making this machine as crazy as possible um, with the push pull on everything and how many radiators I threw into the mix and why it's kind of important to keep uh, two D5s with the head pressure and everything and we literally did that whole test with no fans just water pressure moving through the radiators and still keeping the system cool while doing a benchmark with full overclocks uh, full overclock on the GPU and CPU uh, like I said I hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it answers questions on uh, water cooling and why I did what I did with the fan controllers and everything uh, like and subscribe for more tech videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one.